All right, so here we go. We got a relative velocity problem dealing with football players. Um, we got players running east and west. So I'm just going to choose east positive, and anything that's west will be negative. So that means the quarterback, the running back, and the wide receiver safety are all positive because they were east. Linebacker gets negative, and we're not going to worry about the north for now. We'll skip that one. So now we want the velocity of the quarterback to the wide receiver. Um, again, we start with what we started, so we have velocity quarterback. We end with what we ended, so we put the wide receiver there. And the length between these is going to be the ground, because we know their velocity is relative to the ground. Well, the quarterback's velocity to the ground is given that's two. Uh, but we don't have the ground wide receiver. We have wide receiver as measured by the ground. Um, so it's going to be the opposite of that. So what we see here is that the wide receiver's speed was 8, so we want the opposite. It's minus 8, and we move that into the problem, and we can get minus 6 meters per second or 6 meters per second west. We can do this instead of looking at the numbers like that, but we can look at it with vectors. So the quarterback's going 2 to the east. The wide receiver is going 8 to the east. But we don't want wide receiver ground. We want what's the ground look like. So the wide receiver would see like the goal post or something like that coming towards him. So it would be the opposite direction. And we just slide this over and we put it there. And we find that the gap between the pieces is 6 in the west direction. So that matches what we got numerically. So let's take a look at number 2. So we want velocity, quarterback, linebacker. So again, we start with what we started. We end with what we ended. We're going to link everything with ground. And we know that the quarterback's velocity is 2 meters per second. And we have ground linebacker, um, but we know what the linebacker is relative to the ground, and that's minus 7. So we want the opposite sign, so it's plus 7. And we end up with 9 meters per second east. Again, we can line this up with vectors. There's the quarterback to the east. Linebacker's moving to the west. But then the ground looks like it's going to the east with their linebacker. Again, we slide this up, put them together like that, and we get 9, which matches what we had graphically. Uh, so we can move on to the third one here. Velocity for the safety relative to the wide receiver. Start with what we started, safety. End with what we ended, wide receiver. Ground in between. The... Safety's velocity is 9. The wide receiver, um, we have the velocity relative to the ground. So again, we just need to flip that sign because the subscripts are flipped. So instead of 8 for the wide receiver, we use negative 8, and that goes in there. And we find out that the relative velocity is 1 meter per second. Now we have linebacker wide receiver. Um, so linebacker ground plus ground receiver, or R is running back, I'm sorry. So linebacker is negative 7 because it's 7 west. And the running back is 10 east, but we need to flip that because the subscripts are flipped, so it's negative 10. So that goes in there, and we get negative 17 meters per second, or 17 meters per second west. And the last one, what's the velocity of the quarterback relative to the running back? Uh, so it's quarterback, ground, ground, running back. Quarterback ground is 2. Running back ground is 10, but we have ground running back, so if we flip the subscripts, we flip the signs, minus 10. So that gives me a minus 8 meters per second, uh, which is 8 meters per second in the west direction. 